I know at this point, as much as I love the camper, I would much rather say just get me out of it and we'll start fresh with something else. What else, I don't know. I So as I'm washing the camper, it's the first time that I've washed it since we had it. And came across something devastating that is going to really disrupt our plans. So anyway, we're at our work camping gig. And we're here, you know, for a few more months. I think this is going to be something that's going to go back to the factory. Let me climb up here. I found this. Huge stress crack. It's unbelievable. It's all the way through. Oh my lord, I feel sick. Yep. So to fix that, I'm sure it's gonna have to go back to the factory and they'll probably have it forever and you know, quote, fix it. And then they'll probably come back I don't know, I might just tell them to take the whole unit back. So it's been a couple thousand miles, I guess, to be fair, but it doesn't make it right. So this, this is going to be home. a major disruption in our, not only our life, but our plans, because we're going to have to figure out what we're going to do. You know? We're just going to have to, you know, it's part of it. It's part, we're just going to have to figure it out. Yep. Yeah. Anyway, let me finish washing it. and. I'm going back get, to work. Get on the horn with KZ. Uh, it's very disappointing. Sickening. I can go ahead and seal it so it doesn't leak into the camper. But I think it's a complete crack. I think it goes all the way into the corner there. It's really bad. I don't care if it's ugly because I'm just trying to keep the water out of it. Um, and so the dealer has a body shop that they're going to want to get an estimate and then determine what will be done from there. Inside, inside the wall on the inside it's got a crack as well. I'll show you that. This will keep it from creating a bunch of water damage. They said the body shop's gonna fix it. We'll be without our RV for a long time. But my concern is they'll just patch it, hiding the problem, and it'll come back. So it's heartbreaking. But we're doing the best we can, we're handling it. And we'll see where we go from here. So this is the inside of our wall by the crack. You can see a little defect there. So Megan noticed that first. She asked me, does, does it always look like that? I'm like, no, I don't know what that is. And then after being out there today and finding that crack, makes sense now. So we've got a major problem going on. And from what I can tell, it looks like that crack it communicates all the way down through to the slide opening so it's probably busted all the way through so i don't know what lies ahead and how bumpy this road is going to be but we'll make get through it it's a heck of an introduction to full-time rv living so it's been a couple of weeks I kind of sunk in what's going on and um, yeah some of the social media uh pages that we're on that are RV specific. One is uh, Durango specific. Um, there's some other people that have the same issues. I haven't seen anybody anybody with the crack as significant as ours, but they're still bad. And so we reached out to the dealership warranty department, and she was familiar with it. And she says that we have to bring the rig there, and they'll contact Lippert. 
So back to Pennsylvania. Yeah, back to Pennsylvania from where we are now in Vermont at our work camping gig. And they, I sent them pictures that they asked for, all types of pictures, so that then Lippert can look at the pictures. And it gives their body shop something to look at to estimate the repair. Which, the way they were saying they're going to repair it, we didn't like the sounds of it. It sounds like they're just going to patch it. I mean, I don't, I don't have much faith in the way they were telling us they were going to repair it. Cut! Stop! <laughs> Hold it right there. This is not us. We don't want to be all doom and gloom. Yeah, there's a lot going on, but we're going to be all right. What do you think, hon? While we were editing this video, we realized how bah humbug it was. <laughs> so we're cutting most of it out. Yes. You get the idea. You know, we're, we're bummed about the situation with our frame or whatever is going on. And the hardest thing right now is waiting until September. That's when we have our date to take it in. We definitely want to keep you guys up to date on what's going on with us because it's just real life and it's it's what we're dealing with but we also know that we totally trust that god's got a plan for us this is going to be all okay and we're very much like suck it up buttercup kind of people yeah. like we're going to just keep on moving one foot in front of the other and it'll all work out fine it's just the waiting is kind of frustrating and it yeah. was maybe overwhelming us a little and bit and just the thought of having to get out of the rig for a while then you know go back and pick it up it's gonna be a lot of uh, miles t to cover but um the what ifs i think the what ifs are hard when you yeah. don't know what to plan for but since thinking this through we were coming up with some cool possible options so and we do have a couple of opportunities that have come yeah. up uh through the friends we network with and so you never know it might be just an exciting adventure whole nother it's going to be an adventure <laughs> no doubt whole nother path that we hadn't thought about so i know the rest of the video there's it's still our old boohoo attitudes <laughs> but we're cutting most of it out and we'll just jump to the end and uh bear with us bear with us and we'll keep you posted on how this goes and how it transpires so the way they're explaining to fix it is they're going to have they'll have to weld the if it is a frame issue they'll straighten it weld it do what they got to do there to get the frame corrected then the body shop is going to repair our side which is asdell siding but they're going to do fiberglass so you know how is that going to communicate with the asdell is it going to stay together you know i'm in my mind i'm seeing them just patching it to get it out the door and then we're going to go down the road and it's going to come back or I don't know is it, if it's going to be obvious if you see the defect or the repair, you know, it can go either way, but just a um, lot of what if. Yeah. So, and the fact that they got to tear all this apart to find the issue, it's just um, not sitting well with us right now. So after um, speaking with the warranty lady from the dealership and we were kind of skeptical of the repair and how they're going to do things. We reached out to Lippert Warranty Department, Cindy, which was very, very easy to do. She answers the phone and um, was very personable and understood the problem. They're dealing with it with others. And um, she told us the same thing, that the dealer will have to do it. Um, they, have, they have authorized any Durango dealer. Um, they make sure that they know how to do the repair. And they have welders come in and weld the frame if that's the issue in trying to impress upon people that this is our home we've sold everything else and um that's been a little overwhelming well they wanted us to bring it to the dealership kind of now if we could get it there and they would do the repair but you know we've got a commitment here at this campground and we're not going to just pull up stakes and ditch on them you know the our rig is still under warranty so that's not a problem so it would be september before we can get it there but then we're like, okay, we're going to be homeless come September and all we'll have is our truck. So, you know, we're looking at some options there. We've looked at RV share and that type of thing and see if there's something we can rent. We have truly explored all options. Like yeah. we thought, what if we get some the cheap travel trailer, we just park it on our lot in Tennessee for yeah. a few months and then flip it and sell it. Or, you know, if there's somewhere we can stay, we've looked at, um, 
what was it good works the, oh yeah this this site where you can possibly yes yeah, so that's a whole nother that could be yeah. a whole nother video <laughs> if you're looking for a work camp and jobs and don't have an rv but i did find one post on a forum that they were talking about the frame not being welded square from the factory um, so i don't know if that's exactly what it is or not i don't have enough knowledge to say that's definite but when we first got this camper being a fifth wheel one of the things we noticed was sway and i kept thinking that's just odd i shouldn't have trailer sway from a fifth wheel and you know sometimes it could be a little bit severe I'm sure that the frame is the sway issue we know that's just part of full time. You're going to have issues. Things right. are going to come up. We get that totally. It's better if it's something that we can fix. <laughs> right. But for a brand new rig and a rig that we love, we have yeah. so enjoyed this camper um, to know that it's structurally not sound. Right. And frankly dangerous to go down the road. I'm, I'm scared that they're saying we have to pull it back down to Pennsylvania and I don't want to watch him get jerked off the road you know so that that alone makes me nervous so yeah and how how much worse will it get by the time i get down there because you know we're uh we're 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 gonna be that's gonna be a two-day trip they don't know exactly what they're gonna find we've heard several stories there's oh, yeah. the off camber issue there's what is it the frame in the wall well the wall studs are aluminum and some people have reported that the welds on those have broken and cause the issue so they're going to, have to tear this whole thing apart on this side inside and out to see what's going on and um, so we don't like the way that sounds it's now, just disappointing you know such a, an expensive new rig you have these issues it is and again I love the Durango it, mm -hmm. I don't feel like it's the Durango's fault at all it's all frame um, it's related all we, frame. we suppose we don't know yet right. I don't know if we'd want to go to something else that has a leopard frame I'd be I'd be nervous the whole time yeah or do we go to something completely different um, I don't I don't know we're we are all over the place yeah because we're um, you know we keep thinking okay we'll get it fixed and then we'll just trade out of it you know and we're we're in it good so we're not upside down at all Thankfully. so we we have quite a bit of money to the good for what the camper's worth so we're, we're not worried about getting out of it and being and carrying any debt over there wouldn't be any debt to carry over so you know we're thinking everything from another fifth wheel to a motorhome so we, with a motorhome you don't have a leopard frame of course you got other issues um, you know, you can argue for eternity over what's what's the pros and cons of each. And I do yeah. like the idea of being able to tow Miss Blueberry and not yeah. having to follow behind them. Miss <laughs> Blueberry is Megan's O2 Jeep Wrangler, which I'll have to show We'll have that. to show a picture yeah. of that. But. but we brought that with us so we'd have something to drive. We didn't want to use the truck for everything daily driving. And now with the fuel cost, I'm glad we did. Gas is bad enough, but um, I haven't driven the truck maybe twice in the past month of being up here so that's good now, a month has gone already so time's flying we got to get busy um but right now plans are up in the air as far as what our next steps are um will we have to find some sort of temporary housing do we find a camper we can stay in and maybe sell later um we're all over the place yeah we'll we'll come up with something but we have about three months to do it so and we do trust that it'll all work out in the end we mm. know that it will um, we're on this path for a reason. And that's another thing. We have uh, on social media, the pages we're on, there's people that had their camper for this issue picked up in February, and they're still waiting on it to be fixed, to be returned, I guess I should say. Maybe it's fixed. They haven't picked it up yet. But anyway, it's taken a long time. And um, We already waited, what, like eight months to actually yeah. get the camper, been in it for a couple months, and then yeah. we have to get, lose it again. Yeah. I don't know. And then yeah. we've heard of... Um, on the same social media there's one uh lady i think it was a lady that was saying that their camper was totaled that the company just said it's you know unrepairable you know and that would be a whole another nightmare to go through and getting it all whatever that would entail and we know we won't be on the street we have too much family mem too many family members that would take us in for temporary they wouldn't want us for long but we could do that but we really don't want to impose on anybody that way either so We'll, uh, we'll find an Airbnb or something. All right, well, this is dragging on. Um, yeah, and we don't want to um, bore you with with the details too much, yeah. but we will try to keep you up and keep you posted on the progress and right. and kind of where this road goes. And um, yep. Yep. just keep us in your thoughts. 
And if you have a camper of some sort with a lippered frame, just always be checking everything. You know, always look it over and make sure there's nothing weird or out of place. But we... Or if you have an extra camper that you're not currently using, uh, yeah. <laughs> let us know. No. <laughs> just That's kidding. Funny. Right. <laughs> So we'll keep you updated as this saga continues. We've got a long way to go before we actually get anything done, but we'll periodically put out videos as we learn more. So it'll be interesting road. Yep. It's okay. We'll travel it together and yep. it'll all work out. So <sighs> thank you guys for watching this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. And until the next video, we hope you're trading the everyday for a better day. <laughs>